It's Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand. I've got another chair and dumbbell workout for you today. It's going to be a HIT style workout, so there's some cardio intervals in it. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and it is a full body workout. I'm using medium weights, so they're about 10 pounds, and then just make sure the chair is sturdy. So if it's wobbling around, you need to put the back of it up against a wall. You could also use a couch, but once again, make sure it doesn't slide. I want to keep you nice and safe. Okay, we're going to get right into the warm-up. So you're going to reach your arms up, take your feet a little bit wider than your hips, draw your shoulders down. We're going to inhale, send the hips back. As you stand up, you're going to kick your right leg straight forward and tap the toes. Squat back, and then kick the left leg up and squat back. Each time alternating, so we're getting that hamstring stretch at the top and we're opening those hips up at the bottom. It is surprisingly raining here in sunny Los Angeles, so we'll see what happens during this workout. <laughs> Make sure when you're going into those squats that those hips go back rather than those knees going forward. So we do not want those knees to go over the toes. You're going to reach your butt back behind you and then tap your foot. Try to keep the legs straight and your foot flexed. Your heel is moving away from you, toes are moving to you. Good, give me two more. Last two. Okay, last one. Squat it back, tap it down. Okay, push up chest fly in an incline position. Hands are on the edge of the chair. Elbows go wide, you're gonna bend your elbows, bring your chest, tap it down to the chair. Press up, and then take your left arm, open it out to a T, and squeeze your back. We're gonna alternate arms. Push up, press up, open that right arm out to a T, squeeze that right shoulder blade to the spine, push up, left arm. Good, continue to alternate. Waking up the core and the chest here. When you go into that chest fly, don't twist into it. So rather stabilize the torso. Good, couple more. Let's hit it for four. I'm excited for this workout. Lots of single leg movements, pistols, and Bulgarian split lunges. Good, walk it in. You know those are fun. So we're gonna come into a plank with our hands on the ground. This is our last warm up move. Toes are on the chair. Nice long line in the spine. You're gonna walk your hands to your feet. Send your tailbone to the sky and keep your heels high. We get that hamstring stretch. Ah, oh, that feels lovely. Then walk back out, high plank. Walk it in. Hips up, shoulders down. Make a pyramid in your body. Walk it back out, long line in the spine. Good job. Try to get your shoulders right over those hands. Woo, I really feel that in the back of my legs. Good, give me two more right here. Walk it in, walk it out. Okay, last one. Walk it in, get your butt up above your chest. Walk it back out and take it down. Okay, how you feeling? Pretty good? So that was the warm up, we're now gonna get into it. 45 seconds of a move, 15 second break, but it might be more like the setup for the next move. So let's start with one dumbbell. I've got one 10 pound dumbbell, one hand on each side of the dumbbell. Bulgarian split lunge, right foot is on the mat. Top of the left foot is on the chair. Here we go, you're gonna inhale. Drop down into your lunge. Take a twist to the right, to the front knee, the bent knee. Center, drive through that front heel, come up. Drop it down. Twist. Center, drive up. Now that knee should stay right above the ankle, so I'm pulling my right hip crease back the whole time. I want your whole right foot planted down into the ground. Toes, heel. Good, in 15 seconds, we take a quick moment and we do this on the other side. Awesome, so this is legs and abs and a ton of balance. In four, three, two, one. Good, stand it up. We're gonna do that on the other side. So the left foot is on the floor, right foot is on the bench. Let's find it now. Left foot on the ground, right foot on the bench, and we are on. Weight it, chest tight. We lunge down, twist, center, drive up through the foot. So I want you to keep this tempo 
really slow, controlled. Think about melting caramel. It's kind of like sticky and gooey. That's our pace rather than something liquidy that's flowing really, really fast. Woo! Awesome, I want you to get low. So your knee is not here, but rather all the way here, hip in line with knee. Create that 90 degree angle in the front leg. We drop down, twist, center, return. Okay, you're gonna put the weight down. We're coming into a modified burpee with our hands on the chair. You can have the push up if you would like. We start in five, four, three, two, one. Hands on the chair, jump your feet out. Give me a push up, press up, jump your feet in, jump it up. Now this is where I want you to lay on the pace. Okay, this is that cardio interval. Out in, out in, jump up. You can take the jump or the push up out if that's not right for you. Okay, let's crank it up, 20 seconds left. Move with your breath, keep your abs braced when you jump out. We're crushing it guys. First cardio interval of the day, you've got 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one, jump it in, jump it up. Awesome, okay. Grab that one weight. You're back to the Bulgarian split lunge with the right foot on the ground, the left toes tucked on the bench behind you, arms up, elbows point forward, ribs in. We're gonna inhale, bend that right knee down. Exhale, drive up. So just a static hold in the arms and try to look straight out in front of you so that that neck doesn't shear forward. Create some length in the neck. Draw the chin off the chest. Good job. And if your arms get tired, bring the weight down to your chest. I do not want you to drop the weight on your head. That would be a no-go. Good work. Good, keep your chest back. We have five, four, three, two, one, bring it on up. Okay, take a breather. I'm gonna do that on the left side. So your left foot is on the floor. The right top of the foot is on the bench. Make sure you step far enough out with that left leg. Arms are up and we're on 45. Slow controlled. Try not to let your elbows bend here. Keep those arms strong. Think of pushing the weight away from the top of your head. Good, keeping a squared body. So whatever wall you're looking at, that is the way I want your chest and your hips to point at. Breathe in, breathe out, take your time. Good, give me two more. Last one, we lose the weight. Take it to the ground, put the weight down out of the way. Okay, we're gonna take it to a tuck jump in a plank and a jumping jack. You ready? Okay, hands at the front of the chair. Knees are together and bent in. You jump out, open, close, jump in. Out, open, close, in. Out, open, close, in. Keep it going. Now that upper body is stable, so I don't want you to be flailing your butt around as you do this movement. Okay, that's halfway. This is where I want you to lay the pace on. Get that heart rate up. <sighs> Crank them out. Stay sturdy and strong in the upper body. 10. Here we go. Final five, four, three, two, one, and bring it in. Okay, grab your weight. Bring it up on your chair, breathe. We've got the Bulgarian split lunge with a wood chopper. The weight is gonna go across the body. One hand on each side of the weight. Right foot forward, top of the left foot on the ground or on the chair behind you. So we're gonna reach the weight up to the top left corner. 
Then you're gonna lunge down and bring the weight outside of the right leg. Drive through your foot, come up. Woo, finding that balance. Lunge down, twist. Now keep your chest open as you go into the twist, head back. Don't collapse in that spine. Drive through that right foot. Breathe in, breathe out. Awesome job, 15 seconds right here. Breathe in, breathe out. Guys, you're already 10 minutes in. How are we feeling? Game check. Last one. Drive it up, step it down. Breathe for a moment, we take it on the left. So the left foot is on the floor, we twist left this time with the weight. Here we go, left foot out, top of the right foot down, arms start up to the right diagonal. Woo, find that balance. We twist left, we lunge. We center, we reach the weight up. Good, now the whole time the pelvis isn't turning, so hips don't move with the rotation of the upper body. Good, head back, tall spine. Try to drop into it, give that hip some love. Good, 15 seconds. You have five, four, three, two, one. Weight down and out of the way. Okay, Mount Everest. So you're gonna be in a plank, opposite lunging leg jumps in front. Five seconds, breathe, recover, five seconds is short. Hit that high plank, hands on the sides of the chair, so you're gonna jump your left foot into a lunge, jump it back, right foot into a lunge. Then you're gonna try to take out the center. Pick the pace up, keep your heart forward, so make sure hands stay right underneath the shoulders and you're not back here, yeah? Try to keep length in the upper body. Okay, that's halfway, this is where we pick it up. Sprint it out to the finish line. We are on to your last round of Bulgarian split lunges. Here we go. 10, seven, five, four, three, two, one, one, stand it up. Woo, okay. So, Bulgarian split lunge. At the bottom, we're gonna do a calf raise. So grab your one 10 pound dumbbell, Bring the weight to your chest. The right foot is out in front of us. Top of the left foot on the bench. We're on, we go down, hold at the bottom. Lift the right heel, lower the right heel, then drive through the heel to stand. Bring it down. Heel lift, heel lower, push through the foot, stand up. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, I wanna feel that glute squeeze as I come back up to standing. <sighs> Spread open through that chest. Make sure you're not getting all hunched here. <sighs> Good work. You're there in 10. Give me one more in five, four, three, two, one. Stand it up. Starting to feel those split lunges. I think so. Okay, left leg in front. Let's set it up. Top of the right foot on the bench behind us. We're on 45, we go down. Lift the heel, lower the heel, drive up, squeeze your tush. We're down, lift, lower, drive through the heel. So really slow as you press up. Take your time, remember I said make it gooey like you're moving through thick caramel rather than through water. Make it a little tougher for yourself. Okay, we have 15 seconds right here. I definitely feel like my left leg is weaker. That's the nice thing about these lunges. When you have a single leg movement, the weaker leg is for forced to work just as hard. One more, we're down, calf raise, heel down, drive it up. Okay, weight down out of the way. Take your breather. We have another cardio abs move coming up. So hit a high plank for me on the edge of the chair. We're gonna go down, down, up, up. So right hand to the mat, left hand to the mat. Right hand to the chair, left hand to the chair, and then switch. 
Left down, right down, left up, right up. Switch, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Keep it rocking. Pace is quick, hips are still. Good, stabilize through your center. I forgot my lead arm. Okay guys, here we go. 15 right here, pick it up. Awesome work. Push it, push it. Give me what you got. Five, four, three, one more, two, one. Bring it up. Woo! Okay, we're into pistol squats. Whatever leg is working, the opposite arm is working. One dumbbell in the left hand, right foot on the floor, left leg is going to lift up. So this is your positioning, okay? So right foot on the floor, left arm in 90 degree, wrist in, elbow forward. You're gonna sit your hips back onto the bench. Drive up through the right heel, narrow shoulder press. Sit it back. Let's go, 45 seconds. Drive it up. Breathe in, sit it back. Breathe out, drive it up. Good work. Woo! Now try to go slow on the way down. That's part of the work is resisting the seat. Then move the hips back rather than that knee forward. Lots of core imbalance here, 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Take it down. So you're gonna switch. Weight goes into the right hand, left foot on the floor. You have 10 more seconds, and then we're into it. So just get yourself situated. Right elbow points forward. Make sure your hips are close enough to the chair, and we're on. Reach that hip back. Slowly take a seat. Drive up through that left heel. Oh yeah. This side is definitely harder for me. Shoulder press at the top. Go ahead, make sure your wrist is in, your elbow is pointing forward, and I'm stopping my elbow at 90, so I'm not coming all the way down. I don't want you to take that much of a rest. Okay, guys, 20 seconds. Breathe in, tap, drive up, press. 10. Awesome, for five, four, give me one more. Three, two, one, way out of the way. Okay, we're coming into our cardio ab move. It's gonna be donkey kicks off the edge of the chair. Shoulders stay over the wrist. Kick your heels to your butt. We're on in three, two, one, 45 seconds. Drive your feet off the ground. Try to get your butt up. Good power. Let's go. Good work, good work. Get those hips up. 30. Get yourself out of breath. It's good to be uncomfortable. Here we go, 20. Pace. 15. 10. 8. Four, three, two, one. Whew. Harder than it looks. Okay, one weight into the left hand. Pistol squat, right leg is planted. Left arm, bicep curl. Okay, we're on in three, two, one. The hips go to the mat, tap the chair. As you drive up, give me a bicep curl on the left arm. Slowly lower the arm, lower the hips. Drive up and curl. Now your right hand, keep me on your hip or reaching out to the side for balance. Let me hear that breath. Do not swing the weight. Slow controlled. Then lift your gaze if you can and look forward at eye level. Yeah, that's gonna keep our posture good. You have 10. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, left leg, right arm. 10 seconds and then we're on. Woo, we getting sweaty? 
Okay, here we go. Set it up. Left foot down. Right leg up. Let's be close enough to that chair so it catches us. Right wrist forward. Booty back. As you come up, drive through the left heel. Bicep curl. Keep that upper right arm pinned to your body. Oh yeah, my left leg has a lot harder time with this movement. But that is, you know, it's good to note, right? Since we do a lot of movements that use both sides at the same time, the weaker side tends to not work as hard and we don't even realize it. Okay, 15 seconds. Resist taking a seat. Drive up bicep curl. Good, last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Weight out of the way. Good, you're gonna jump with your legs together to the right, back to center, and up to the left. Okay, we're in a plank. Feet are together. Shoulders over wrists, glue those legs together. We jump to the right hand, back center, left hand, back center, and we pick it up. Cardio, crank it out. Are you dripping? I'm dripping, and it feels freaking awesome. 30. Get those knees all the way up. Use your abs. 20. This is where I want you to push the tempo. Sprint at the end of the interval for 15. We got it. 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Who would have thought incline planks were so hard? Okay, weight in the left hand. It's gonna be a lateral raise, bend the elbow with our pistol squat. Right leg moves, left leg up, okay? Sit your hips back, slowly take a seat. Drive up, balance at the top, lateral raise on the left. It's gonna be hard to hover that right, that left leg the whole time, but we showed up for hard, right? Drive up, lateral raise, take it down, tap the bench, drive up, Ooh, find that balance, breathe in, breathe out, you got 15, Woo. in five, four, three, Two, I'm watching that clock. One, okay. Take a moment, we're gonna do the lateral raise on the other side. Oh, 10 seconds. This is when the going is getting tough, huh? Okay, so you have your left foot on the floor. Our right arm does the lateral raise. Right arm is up. Hips go back, slowly take a seat. We stand up and we try to balance. Lateral raise, elbow is bent. 10 pounds for me would be a heavy lateral raise. So I don't want a straight arm that's being flung out to the side. I want a soft elbow and those shoulders dropping away from your neck. Drive up, controlled lift, control lower. 20 seconds. Good, let's lift that gaze. I know it's easy to look at the floor here, but that starts to mold not the best posture for 10. For five, four, three, two, one. Okay, lose the weight. We have a 45 second knee drive on the left leg. Two more rounds of the pistols and then the right leg will do the knee drive. You're gonna keep your left knee bent, knee over ankle. Now drive that right knee in. Pump your arms like you're running a marathon and suck your belly button into your body. The minute your foot touches the floor, you drive it up. Weight in the heel, it's gonna burn out this left leg. That's what we want, 30. Get it guys, 25. 20 seconds, pick it up, 20. 15. 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Okay, let's do it. Last round, right and left of those 
It's pistol squats. You're gonna do a rear pull. So instead of straight up with the elbow, you're pulling the elbow back. Weight in the left hand, right foot on the ground. Reach your hips back, slowly take a seat. Drive up through the heel, balance. And then that left elbow pulls back. Chest comes, wrist comes to the front of the shoulder. I'll mirror it with my right arm, or with my left arm, so you can see what's happening. Right? Elbow going back. Now let's lift that head up. We know it's the last round right here on this right leg. Try to take that balance at the top. Woo! <laughs> if we can get there still. 10 seconds. One more. Breathe in, take it down. Breathe out, drive it up. Pull back, recover. You have 10 seconds. We take that on the other side. So same thing, left leg, right arm. Big breath. Here we go. Left foot on the floor, right hand has the weight, right leg up. Send your hips back. Find the chair. Oh, I got nervous it wasn't there that time. <laughs> Drive it up. And then give me that rear pull. Good elbow pulling back. Now let's lift the gaze. <sighs> Breathe in, sit it down and back. Breathe out, drive it up. Pull it back. Okay, 15 seconds to our knee drive. In five, four, give me one more. Three, two, one, rear pull, return. Okay, in 15 seconds, we're gonna crank it out. It's our last move of this workout and you've completed a 30 minute hit. So right leg, let's prep it. Knee stays back over the heel. Gonna pump your arms. Here we go, drive it in. You have 45 seconds. Keep your weight back. Make sure your knee isn't shooting towards the back of that chair. When we're halfway, I'm gonna ask you for maximum intensity and you're gonna give it to me. We are halfway, now let's get it. Push off the floor, pump your arms. This is a sprint, 20 seconds. 15, 10, drive it up, nine. Here we go, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Okay, take it to the ground. Give me a little step down. Wow, madness. Close that heart rate down. Let the sweat drip. That felt amazing. I love working single-sided. As you know, because <laughs> like everything we just did was single-sided, right? Okay, take a stretch across the body. Now, when you're this out of breath, don't just sit down and collapse, even if it's tempting. Maybe walk back and forth. You know, it's good to let that heart rate slow down naturally instead of abruptly. Good, give it a second. Take some water if you need it. Okay guys, we are gonna stretch it out. So we're gonna really get the hips and the front of the thighs. So facing the chair, you're gonna take your right leg onto it, ankle in line with knee. So you've got a 90 degree bend. Then slide the shin to the back of the chair. Turn your hips forward. So I'm gonna make sure that this left hip is not opening up. It's just gonna lessen the intensity of the stretch. So the more that you can square the hips, drawing this left hip forward, the more you're going to feel it in your right low back, your butt, okay? Tuck your left toes and push the back of the thigh to the ceiling. Draw your navel in. Good. I want you to think of that tailbone, that lumbar spine kind of filling up so we don't dip in in the low back, but rather we almost uh, less flatten the curve. <laughs> okay, if you want to lean forward into this, you can. That will feel nice. Okay, give me three breaths here. In and out. <sighs> feel free to sigh it out. It's your time. One more breath, big inhale, deep exhale, let it go. 
Okay, press off the chair. Let's do the pigeon on the other side. So the left leg is going to come onto the chair. Now turn your knee out. Walk your shin to the back of the chair and work to have your foot and knee in alignment. If it's really intense, bring the foot closer to your body. If you want more of a stretch, walk it away. Now let's look at the form. Left hip pulls back. I'm even pushing on the chair with my hand to help me slide that hip back. Tuck the right toes and press the thigh into the hamstring. Draw your navel and your chest in. Good, and then if you want, you can lean into this side. <sighs> okay, let's find those three breaths. You deserve it. Extend and expand the breath on the way in. And audibly let it go. Two more. Breathe in, fill up. Breathe out, let it go. And take one final breath here. Good, walk it up. Okay, step off the chair. This does require a little bit of balance. We're gonna get into the quads. So your left foot is on the ground. We're used to this at this point. We're gonna bring that right kneecap up to the back of the chair. Now I want you to square your hips. The top of my right foot is on the chair back. Angle your hip bones up. So I want you to be careful of doing a back bend in your low back here. Push off your left foot, draw the left hip back, and now gently apply pressure of your right foot into the chair back. So it's like I'm trying to press it away, but not so hard that you kick the chair over, just a gentle little press. This is gonna access your psoas and the front of the thigh, the quad. Okay, give a breath here. And then exhale, hand to the chair, roll out of it. Okay, just take your time getting in and out of this one. I don't want you to knock the chair over. Right foot on the ground. Bring the top of that left knee back onto the chair. Good. Line your shin up with it. And I'm gonna push off my front foot instead of letting my knee dive forward. My right hip pulls back. So it's like someone's pushing my knee back into the hip socket. Good, then pull up through your belly and your chest. That is gonna give you more lift and length through the front of this left psoas. Now press the top of your left foot into the seat, and voila, there is the hip stretch. Soften the shoulders, release that neck. Give me one more breath in here, and let it go. Good, step to the floor, careful with that chair. Let's take one more cleansing breath in. Feet are wide, stretch it up. Breathe in, touch the palms at the top. Exhale, dive it down. Release, shake it out in a little forward fold. Release the low spine. Make any movement that feels natural to you. Good, center yourself. Bend your knees, roll up with your core. Roll the shoulders back and give yourself a hand. You just hit a 30 minute hit with a cool down and a warm up and a little stretch there at the end. I'm very proud of you. Please let me know your favorite move in the comments or what was super challenging for you. For me, it was my left side in general was clearly having a harder time balance, balancing, but that's why I love doing exercises like this. It will get you stronger and more balanced throughout your body. Again, my name's Lindsay Bushman. This is Pilates On Demand. I'd really appreciate if you click subscribe right there below and liked it and shared it with your friends. I'll see you guys on the next workout.